Yeah, it's incredible what you do, and thank God we have someone like you that's involved in this. And, you know, one of the things, uh, Dr. Reardon, a lot of parents are asked at some point leading up to the delivery of their child if they want to store the, the core blood or the umbilical cord tissue. Uh, that stuff can get pretty expensive. It, how important is that, and what's the difference between the two? Well, that's a really good question, Alex. Um, and, and on the cord blood, that's those – those, the cord blood contains the stem cells. For example, if you you've heard of a bone marrow transplant, right? If somebody has right. can, cancer, or and they get whopping doses of chemotherapy and radiation, you can salvage the bone marrow because when you're giving those big doses of things to kill the cancer, you kill the bone marrow stem cells as well. So those are the cells that make all of your blood components. And if you don't replace those with a match, uh, you know, with a match either bone marrow or the blood from umbilical cord, which has those cells in it, then you'll die from the treatment. So um, that the, the I think the odds of using that in a lifetime are something around between 1 in 2,000 and 1 in 10 million. Um, so it, it, it economically, you know, if, if, it's, if there's no economic, if it's not an economic hardship, then it seems like a reasonable thing to do. If it's if it's the difference between making your house payment or not, I wouldn't I wouldn't do that for sure. Um, then the for the the tissue, it's the tissue has contains the cells that I work with, the, the MSCs, and uh, I think there are going to be a lot of clinical applications coming up. And again, if it's not an economic hardship, I would I would do that. Um, for sure, is store the tissue. I mean, I wish I had my, to be honest with you, I wish I had my umbilical cord tissue to make as many cells as I want, you know, for the rest of my life. Um, so, and and you know, I'm in a I'm in a position to do that because I own a laboratory and a, and a, and a company, uh, and you know, I have companies in Panama where it's legal to do that. And I think ultimately things are going to open up here. I don't, to be honest with you, I, I can't predict the future how long that's going to take. I think we'll probably get our, our first MSC cell therapy approved here maybe in three to five years, but it'll be limited. So that's a long answer. I, I guess the short answer is if it's not if it's not economically too onerous for you to do it, then it, it's an insurance policy and there may be some great stuff that you can do with your cells, your kids' cells later down the road.